Okay, so here's an addendum to the video. I forgot to mention because it was 5.30 in the morning. Excuse me. He's also locked me out of the building, so he's changed my codes without permission from the director and locked me out of the building. Plumwood is actually uh, about uh, 18 miles round trip from Plain City, and I have limited resources. So Kevin has actually changed the code and locked me out of the building on several occasions. So, and I've tried to, to work with his crazy schedule, so like they were like, you know, be out of the building by 8 or 9 or be there after 5. But then I was promised I could be there, I could sleep there, I could <clears throat> you know, utilize services like during the day, like every other client, but not me. I can only use the services at night. So he's changed the codes, and then um, uh, there was a time that he changed my code. I had to get the assistant director to call him um, and get him to give me a new code so I could get into the building after driving all the way out to Plumwood. Um, he then gives uh, a code to me, or gives it to the director, or the assistant director, and then the assistant director gives it to me. So then I get in to get started on my laundry, and he has piled a project in front of the sink that I need in order to use to wash my clothes. Um, and the assistant director talked to him about that. But he's, he's just, he's very immature, um, and he plays games. And he is out there at Plumwood by himself doing all kinds of wiring most of the time. And so, uh, I, I try and avoid him because he's creepy. Uh, but then he just shows up whenever he wants. Like I'm telling you, he was sitting in a chair in the dark for I don't know how long. And then I walk through to go out to my car and he calls my name tells me he's doing some floor work over the weekend and that I can't be there. Okay. Yeah, but I didn't know you were even in the building, dude. Okay. So he did that. And then some point during the night, the alarm was set. So somebody came to the building and set the alarm. And then at 2.30 in the morning when I went to go get my inhaler, I set the alarm off. Weird. Um, and then, um, so he's changed the code. He's locked me out. He's let me back in. Um, he's piled stuff in front of the sink that I need to use. Um, he walks in to the room that I'm in, that I'm clearly doing laundry in. He's pawed through my stuff. He's collected my stuff. He's gathered my stuff. He's touched my stuff. He's, and, and then I'm supposed to avoid him, and I try and do that, but he finds me. He finds me and stalks me. Um, so these are, I mean, he's just, and he's supposed to be on disability, um, and limited working, but he's there every day, especially if I'm there. I don't know what else I'm leaving out, but I did talk to the director about the fact that I'm going to call the sheriff's office if he keeps it up because he's creepy. And I mean, he is, he scares me. He literally intimidates me. I think that there's a video of him yelling at me. Like he came in and was yelling for me to move my car because he doesn't want it parked in front. But he only talks to me that way. He doesn't talk to anybody else. Why? Because I live in my car. He would never talk to anybody else that way. He's just power tripping. That's all he's doing. And the director is letting him do it because he's our electri He's their electrician. So it's just... Uh, he's uh, not controllable. I don't know, but he scares me. Um, and I don't know what his disability for is for, but I, I think it's addiction or mental health. I don't know, but he, he does strike me as one who can pop off. Like, I've seen him yell at me, like, hysterically yell and scream red in the face, kind of crazy. So, and I'm left out there with him, and he comes there to stalk me. I try and avoid him, and he comes and finds me there, because he knows every time I come in and out of the building, because I have to use the code to get in and out of the building. And when he doesn't want me in the building, even though he isn't the director, he will change the code and lock me out. And he's done it on several occasions. 